The muse visits during the act of creation, not before. Sometimes you just have to pick up that Wacom pen and begin and it'll take you to beautiful places. younger part of me that grew up watching princesses and romance and believed in, in this concept of a forever love. As I've grown up, my thoughts on it have evolved. I question if I have the same beliefs and that's kind of where the idea of this illustration came about. I really enjoy the diversity of creative expression in my practice and digital art is a part of that. I've written this a while ago which was in this part of my life I'm writing solo. I've been alone but not lonely. Finally, I sat down the other day and thought to myself if I constantly move and disconnect from people and places and don't ever find forevers and permanence and things would I be okay? There's a part of me that wants to distance myself with the idea of forever. I feel like there is this need to protect myself from the experiences that I've had with people and emotions and places and everything being temporary. And I remember I went for the Vipassana when I was younger and they actually taught us that like everything is impermanent. And back then I thought that the reason they're sharing this with us is because they want us to be content in life even when things are not in our control. I think I have 20 years for my life and I wonder if everything has to last forever, whether that's love, happiness, success, emotions that you want, people. I wonder if that would serve me in life. I feel like it would cause a lot of misery if I looked at life, at least for myself, as wanting to hold on to emotions and feelings and things and places made me realize that I, a part of me is letting go of this idea and I coming to peace with that. This piece is called The Idea of Forever. 